Hey guys, so I have another story today. Today we are reading A Pocket for Corduroy by Don Freeman. Has anyone heard this story before? No? Yes? Well, let's find out what happens. Who knows what kind of animal this is? This is a chicken, a duck, a mouse, a dog. No? Is it a bear? Mm -hmm. It's a bear. Let's read our story about this little bear today. Pocket for corduroy. Late one summer afternoon, Lisa and her mother took their laundry to the laundromat. As always, on such trips, Lisa carried along her toy bear, Corduroy. There they are, headed to the laundromat. To do their laundry, they have two big bags. The laundromat was a very busy place by this... Well, the laundromat was a very busy place at this time. Now, Corduroy, you sit right here and wait for me, Lisa said. I'm going to help with our wash. Gonna go help her mom wash the clothes. Corduroy waited patiently. Then he suddenly perked up his ears. Can you point to your ears? Is this your ears? This is your ears. Here's your ears. We have one, two ears, and Corduroy has one, two ears. Lisa's mother was saying, be sure to take everything out of your pockets, Lisa dear. You don't want your precious things to get all wet and soapy. Pockets, said Corduroy to himself. I don't have any pockets. He slid off the chair. I must go find something to make a pocket out of, he said. And he began to look around. Can everyone look around? Hmm, what could he make a pocket out of? Let's see what he finds. First, he came to a pile of fancy towels and washcloths, but nothing was the right size for him. Do you think the fancy towels and washcloths were too big or too small? Here's corduroy, and here's the towels and washcloths. Probably too big. Mm, I agree. Then he saw a huge stack of colorful clothes in a laundry bag. There ought to be something in here to make a pocket out of, he said. Without hesitating, he climbed inside the bag, which was filled with pieces of wet laundry. The dampness didn't bother Corduroy in the least. This must be a cave. He said, sighing happily. I've always wanted to live in a dark, cool cave. When the time came for Lisa to fetch her bear, he was gone. Oh, mommy, she said, Corduroy isn't here where I left him. I'm sorry, honey, said her mother, but the laundromat will be closing soon and we have to be getting home. Oh, how do you think that made Lisa feel? I think she was happy that she had to leave her bear behind. No, oh, I would feel really sad. Lisa was reluctant to leave without Corduroy, but her mother insisted. You can come back tomorrow, she said. I'm sure he'll still be here. As they left, a young man wearing an artist's beret was taking his wet laundry out of a bag, the very big bag that Corduroy had discovered. Before he knew it, Corduroy was being tossed together with all the sheets, shirts, and slacks. Uh oh. What do you think's gonna happen? I think he might go in the dryer. Ooh, that'd be a little scary. Inside the dryer. But just as the artist was shutting the glass door, Corduroy tumbled out onto the floor. How in the thunder did that bear ever get mixed up with all my things, the artist wondered. Poor Corduroy was damp all over. The least I can do for him is to give his, his overalls a good drying, said the artist. Thoughtfully, he unbuttoned Corduroy's shoulder straps and put his overalls in the dryer. Corduroy grew dizzy as he watched the clothes spinning around, but the artist became inspired. This would make a wonderful painting, he said, as he took a sketch pad out of his pocket and began drawing the swirling colors. I can hardly wait to get back to my studio. Finally, the dryer stopped whirling and the man gathered up the clothes. 
Then he helped Corduroy put on his warm, dry overalls. All at once, the manager of the laundromat called, Closing time! Everybody out! Sorry, I have dogs in here. Corduroy was gently placed on top of a washing machine. I wonder who that bear belongs to, said the artist as he was leaving. Seems to me he should have a name someplace. He's too fine a fellow to be lost. As soon as the lights were turned off, Corduroy began his search again. He was surprised to see something glowing white in the dark. Maybe it's snow, he said excitedly. I've always wanted to play in the snow. Do you think there's snow in the laundromat? What could this be? Hmm, what do people use when they're clothes to get them clean? Share with whoever's around you and I'll give you five seconds to make your guesses. See what it is. He accidentally tipped over the open lidded box and suddenly he was covered in soft, slippery soap flakes. Gradually, Corduroy began to slip and slide. Oh, what fun, he said with a smile. I've always wanted to ski down a steep mountainside. There he goes. He landed paws first in an empty laundry basket. This must be a cage, he said, peeking through the bars. I've never wanted to live inside a cage like a bear in the zoo. But by now, Corduroy felt drowsy, and soon he nodded off to sleep. Next morning, when the manager came to open the door of the laundromat, there was Lisa waiting. I left something here yesterday, she explained. May I look around? Certainly, said the manager. My customers are always leaving things. Lisa was searching under the chairs and in the back of the washing machines when she heard the manager call back to her. Is this what you're looking for, senorita? <gasps> Look where he found corduroy in the basket. Yes, yes, he's my best friend, shouted Lisa as she came running. She reached in and picked corduroy out of the basket. So this is where you've been, you little rascal, she said. It's time I took you home. Lisa thanked the manager and ran out the door and down the street, holding Corduroy tightly in her arms. I thought I told you to wait for me, she said. Why did you wander away? I went looking for a pocket, said Corduroy. Oh, Corduroy, why didn't you tell me you wanted a pocket, asked Lisa, giving him an affectionate squeeze. And that very morning, Lisa sewed a pocket on Corduroy's overalls. And here is a card I've made with you with your name on it for you to keep tucked inside, she said. I've always wanted a purple pocket with my name tucked inside, said Corduroy. And he and Lisa nuzzled noses. So why do you guys think that Lisa put his name in his pocket? What do you think that was for? Hmm. Go ahead and share with whoever's around you. And I'll give you five seconds to share. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Thank you so much, you guys, for listening today. Here's my dogs that have been hanging out in the background. I have one, two, three dogs in here with me today. They did pretty well. All right, bye my friends.